to those that live in Italy, how is the situation right now with coronavirus and lockdown? I live in the heart of the Lombardy region. All my family has it and my grand uncle died. People just stay home and that's it. There is not much to do and shops are closed. You can hear ambulances all day and night. My uncle is in the hospital with a high fever. His wife got it as well but she is home as her symptoms are milder. My cousin is taking care of her and miraculously she is fine. However her grandpa died and she couldn't even go to visit him. Her grandma is sick as well and she can't see her either and she can't see her dad. Hospitals are closed. The available hospital beds in intensive care have run out and doctors are making tough choices for who to try to save which is terrifying considering most of my family is old and they might not get a bed. Doctors are overworked and tired and since I know many people that work in the hospital, they are sharing with me these gruesome pics of people recovered in the intensive care unit. They are intubated and it just is a sad view. People keep saying it's just a flu. Yes sure, but a flu without having had a vaccine can be quite dangerous. The youngest person I know that has it, he is in his 40s and has had 40 degrees Celsius temperature for two weeks straight and counting. Don't catch it, it's really not fun even if your immune system is strong, trust me on this, I have seen the repercussion on my family firsthand. No church is open or public event is held. Since Italy is primarily populated by old people, we are used to see the streets being empty and everything being quiet. Right now is just quieter. They couldn't even held a funeral for her grandpa. My grandma woke up sick and I truly hope she has something else. So many people in my city have it and yet they keep going around the city and spreading it. Incredible. Some people go to the supermarket and get out of it with tons of food so that they don't need to go shopping again. Others, like my grandma, go every day because how else is she going to get fresh bread? Luckily we have convinced her that she cannot go anymore and she said from tomorrow she won't leave the house. Just this Sunday she had to go to church to confess. The town priest has been taken to the hospital today because he catched coronavirus and he is in critical conditions. I wonder how this death count will go up now that the hospitals are overfilled. Rumor has it that my cousin's grandma got it because she was in the hospital being treated because she broke her back but I can't be sure about this so this is just our personal speculation based on no real evidence so don't take my word for it. I am a doctor who works at one of the largest hospitals in Rome. The situation seems much worse than reported in the news. We are scared, but we continue to go to work for a sense of responsibility by turning. We do not have suitable safeguards for our protection, such as FFP3 masks. US Doc here. How are you guys responding to non-COVID problems? If so many resources are being allocated to this virus, I have to wonder if you guys are seeing a spike in mortality from things that are usually easily treated i.e. cholecystitis, appendicitis, etc. Are you trying to do more temporizing measures such as four antibiotics and percutaneous drainage tubes rather than doing full surgeries at this point in time? Only emergency treatment is guaranteed. I know for certain that in Northern Italy entire hospitals have been completely dedicated to the COVID emergency, but in Rome we are not yet in this situation. Right now we are simply postponing what is able to be postponed. Right now I'm in my office in Tuscany, 20 miles away from my home. This morning at 7 am we hadn't any problem moving around, but I don't know how things will evolve outside my workplace. There are a lot of different informations about what you can and what you can't do from all the media, so I'm here hoping to not getting sick and still be capable at least to move to home tonight and maybe came back to work in the next days. Some say life goes on like always, others say everything is compromised. I'm just here, waiting for things to develop. I have friends in northern Italy quarantined in their homes, my mum in hospital working with face masks and generally people freaking out. They say grocery shopping will be guaranteed, so overall I'm not even worried about it. Maybe is the chance to have some days off and enjoy my home and some games. Unrequested update, is 6pm, 
while working we got a document to show to police officers if we get stopped while going from a commune, something like U.S. municipalities, to another. In this document we declare who we are and why we aren't in our home. You can move by car slash bike slash whatever if you have to meet your family, older people who need care, children and so on, or go to work. Every other reason is forbidden. Right now you still can go around the commune where you live without almost any problem, you only have to keep distance from people around you. Traffic is quite low, compared to last week for example, but people still do their things. A lot of non-fundamental services are closed but you can still go to a pharmacy, hospital, gas stations and big workplaces like industries. Social life is paused, almost everything else is still active in my life. I'm a final year medic and I'm graduating on Thursday over Skype. Why did it get so bad in Italy, anyway? It seems so disproportionate and random that Italy of all places got slammed by this disease. A few factors were against Italy that made it such a hotbed. 1. It is a massive tourist destination. Italy has one of the largest tourist industries in the world, ranked 5 by number of visits in 2018. It attracts food tourists, its wine regions are popular, it has stunning beaches, and then we have the cultural aspect, whether that's the Roman ruins or medieval or renaissance architecture. This means that Italy was pretty much sure of getting some people who were infected. 2. Once the infection started, Italy has another key factor. It has one of the oldest populations on earth, 5th, 3rd if we don't count tiny places like Monaco or St. Michelon. This means that it is extremely sensitive to an infection that disproportionately affects the elderly. For a benchmark, the median age in Italy is 7 years older than the US. As such, the amount of people who will die slash require medical attention for this disease is higher. 3. Italy's response following initial infection was one of the most comprehensive and aggressive of any nation outside of Asia, if not the most. This means massive amounts of testing. As such, the numbers are a relatively accurate representation of the actual rate of sickness in the country. Places like the US could very well have as many, if not more, people currently ill with coronavirus. But no one knows. Some countries seem to be applying a strategy that I'd call la 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 I can't hear you la 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 la, which is extremely effective at keeping the reported number of confirmed cases down but doesn't necessarily do much to deal with the actual number of people infected. So we know why it was extremely likely that Italy would get caught up in this, we know why it is having such a drastic impact on Italy and its health services, and we know why Italy's numbers are so high. High school student here, schools are simply closed and the TV is full of ads about washing your hands and avoid contact with other people. Edit, I forgot to say that each morning we have approximately 3 hours of video lessons from our laptop. I'm a university student, and since last week we have been doing lessons via Microsoft Teams or Google Classrooms. I don't really like these methods, but it's the only alternative, so. There's a fair amount of psychosis between a big chunk of the population, supermarkets have been raided overnight. We are advised to not leave our houses unless it's necessary, but you can fill a form on your own to certify that you need to go to work, so basically everyone is running around without a real examination of that form because literally anyone can do that. The only thing that has been really impacted by this is nightlife and sports since every league of every sport is suspended until April. I have a daughter living in Serona, but she works in Milano. She is housebound on lockdown. Her courses are being done via Skype. Her employer has asked her not to come to work. She is not allowed to leave her house unless it is an emergency, which I hope never happens. She says there has been quite a bit of panic buying at the supermarkets. All the restaurants are pretty much empty, however they are allowed to be open between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. People who are seated should have at least a one meter distance between them at restaurants. Tourist areas e.g. Duomo, in Milano, are devoid of almost anybody. All school and universities remain close, all sporting or any kind of events have been suspended, ski resorts are closed, the same for cinemas, theaters, discos, all church services have been suspended. 
Whilst the measures may seem extreme, Italy has been the hardest hit worldwide besides for China, so it's necessary to curb travel and cultural activities to stop the spread of the virus. There will likely be a baby boom in nine months. Efficient virus, kill the old, spawn the new young. I'm Italian but live abroad. Currently my brother is in one of the high-risk zone in the north. He works at the university as a researcher, today he went to work and the laboratory was empty. Starting from tomorrow the uni told him to stay at home and that the structure will be temporary closed. He was planning an exchange with a laboratory in Ireland for April but I think it's cancelled. He's worried of course and a bit bored too but he understands that the situation is critical and that we have to give our contribution to avoid the spreading. My cousin is in Bologna where the situation is surreal. According to him, no one is on the streets and that the supermarket got assaulted multiple times from people concerning that they would have run out of food, which is not going to happen since supplies are guaranteed. My parents live in a small city in the south where only four cases were registered in the entire region so far, so they are not much concerned, but they are taking precautions if the situation will get worse and they are trying to stay at home when possible. Luckily their jobs are not at risk because my mother works in public administration and my father can work on remote. I live in Germany instead. Yesterday I went to a pharmacy and I could get a couple of face masks just in case. The ladies there understood from my accent I wasn't German, so they asked me where I was coming from. As soon as I said I was Italian they jumped away. I felt like I needed to specify I was living here and had no contact with Italy since December. That felt bad. Well now you know what it's like to be Asian. People just freaking out when they see someone Asian. For a couch potato like me it's awesome. I can watch my uni lessons online and in my free time play a fuck ton of video games or work out a little bit. Also I think we're allowed to leave and get some fresh air. So except for the deadly virus thing everything is okay. I live in Hong Kong so we had protests and the virus back to back, my university has been closed since mid-November. Sounds like hell to some people but I'm really enjoying it. I live in Verona. I'm a 19 years old living alone because my mother and my father took it in Milan and for the first time I'm home alone for a month. Pretty nice though, I play G to 5 with my friends like the old days, doing some indoor workout and experimenting with cooking, I'm becoming a good chef. The school is quite annoying but it's okay, I wake up at 7.30 and at 8 am I start to 5 hours straight in front of my laptop for online lessons and then I go cooking my lunch. I don't go out if not to buy some food and maybe some cigarettes because the situation it's not good, there is no space left in the intensive therapy so if I get really sick, they would have to remove someone to save me since I would have better chance of surviving. This is why I almost never go out, once a week. I don't want to be the reason for someone death. I've been locked in my house with my two sisters and my mother for two weeks and I still have a month ahead of me. PLS send help. Edit, to be clear I was joking, imperfectly fine, the situation is not that bad. We can go out to buy groceries or to work. The big problems are that some people are losing their jobs and how the economy will be affected, now and in the aftermath. Currently watching a university lesson from my bed but my father went to work this morning, I'm in the region where the lockdown started officially today so it's all pretty new, let's hope people don't storm the grocery stores. Edit, since a lot of people are mentioning it there no news about shortage of toilet paper and, at least in my area, no assault on grocery stores. Edit 2, we can get out of our houses, we are asked to do so just for necessity like buying groceries, we have to have a good reason if we want to leave our town. Edit 3, since people suggested me to do an AMA after all the question I'm receiving here you go link, see the link in the description of this YouTube video. I'm a nurse student in Italy, right now I can't go to the university, I can't go to work. We shouldn't go out unless it's a necessity, so basically we need to stay home and finally finish our Netflix list. It may sound pretty cool for the first few days, but after a while it gets pretty depressing and boring, I got so bored that I cleaned everything at home. 
Sounds familiar to me. I'm in China and I've been stuck in my apartment for nearly two months. I can get food delivered and go to the convenience store to buy other things, but nearly everything is closed other than supermarkets and pharmacies. It was, as you said, pretty cool for the first few days, now it's just terrible, although it is slowly getting better again. I hope things get better for you and the rest of Italy soon, but I'm afraid this is probably just the beginning. How are people with no money surviving? What about people whose lives depend on daily wages? Is the government providing free food? In Singapore your employer gets paid 100 Singapore dollars a day if you're quarantined, which will then roll down to you if necessary. The 14-day quarantine will also not count as part of your annual leave slash sick leave. Since yesterday night, every town is locked down. I cannot move 5 kilometers without a proper reason, work, or a relative very sick and so on, otherwise I could get arrested. The government, immediately backed up by lots of celebrities, is basically saying please, stay home. Our emergency departments in the hospitals are collapsing. Literally, chemos or surgeries that are not urgent are being delayed, how's a chemo not urgent? Bars and restaurants can only open from 6 am to 6 pm. It's been over a month that places where big number of people could meet have been closed, discos, sports centers, clubs, schools and universities. It's crazy. Italian student here. Basically in the past we used to cough to cover up a fart, nowadays we fart to cover up a cough. What do you think about coronavirus? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.